Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining uh, this brief demo of the new Primo Research Assistant. So I'll start off with in my Primo and I'll type in a search for mobile phones and literacy. And I'm gonna look in my central discovery index and find articles, books, materials relevant to my search in CDI. Um, what I wanna point out here is the prompt to go to the research assistant. Um, I can see it here, the widget, I can see it here. Let's go out to the Primo Research Assistant. And as you can see now, I'm within the context of my Primo. I've got my Primo URL. I'm, I have my, got my Primo branding, and this is the new Primo Research Assistant page. Um, very intuitive, similar to what people are used to from other generative um, AI solutions. I've got the place to type in my query. I've got my history. I've got some example questions. Um, let's continue in the line that I was researching before, but now I'm going to be using more natural language uh, search query. So I'm going to be asking about the impact of mobile devices on reading literacy development in children. And what happens here um, behind the scenes is we're taking this query, we're going to um, CDI, we're running out to um, the LLM, the large language model, and using um, RAG architecture, which is a retrieval augmented uh, generation, and um, really taking the, um, the query and telling the, the large language model, you can only answer based on materials that we supply you from CDI. So grounded to the academic material in um, the Central Discovery Index. Um, what we can see here is we have our overview, the answer to, to the question based on, on the articles and the sources that we found. Every line within this overview um, has a um, citation citing the exact article or book that it came from. Um, and here below, we have the top five sources from CDI to answer this question. So we've got some books, some journals, uh, whatever, um, whatever relevant. If I go into um, an article as an example, I can see here information about this article. I can see the, the abstract. Again, this is the metadata abstract, not generated. I can see links to the full text, assuming that I subscribe um, to this material. Um, and I can see this for the multiple materials. I can go to this record within Primo to actually see the full information um, of this source of this article as well. Um, I can also go and see more results beyond these five um, these five sources by clicking here, going to my Primo. And what we see here is that we took this query that I started off with, that I started off with in, in natural language, and we've actually translated it to a complex Boolean search. So perhaps a more complex than I could have written myself. We can see here a, a Boolean search, um, again, of many, many um, different, uh, in ways or different um, uh, subjects or keywords around my uh, query. And I can continue my search within Primo um, with, again, filters and facets and, and everything I know. Going back to the research assistant, um, I can see here below, I've got um, other related questions. So I can continue and follow up more questions related to my topic and continue with my uh, research. Um, last thing that I wanted to show here was support for um, other languages. So if I type in a search here in French, um, and this is a question asking for interesting facts about the construction of the Eiffel Tower, and I asked it in French. Um, what we're doing here now is because the user asked the question in French, we're going to be giving him his answer in French or whatever his uh, local language that he used is. My example is French. And I can see my answer here is in French. Um, but the sources, some of them might be in French, others might actually be in, um, in English. Um, what we did here to support multiple languages is, again, we take the, the custom language or the, the local language that the user uh, typed his query in, and we also translate this query in his native language and also in, um, into English and bringing back, um, translating everything back in the overview back to um, his native language as well. And so again, very useful for uh, people that are you know, searching within their local language, but want materials in, in other, uh, in English um, as well, which is again, um, most common um, in, that we see here in, in CDI. Um, with that, I want to thank you for joining uh, this brief demo of the um, Primo Research Assistant, and it will be coming out um, later this year, and I'm expecting our users to get great use out of it. Thank you very much.